Hello, I'm Johnny Rowland, your host of The Shooting Show, and if you're seeing us now, that means we're on. Uh, as we're taping this on Wednesday, uh, we don't know for sure whether or not <clears throat> we're going to be able to get up uh, enough finances to uh, get on this weekend, but I said, hey, we're going to do a show anyway. We're going to be prepared, and hopefully we can, hopefully enough people. Uh, we've had a number of calls since last Saturday. Uh, I don't think a lot of you realize the financial straits that our project is in. And friends, if there was ever a time that we needed to show a positive message about guns, about shooting on television, I think that time is now. And we appreciate everyone who called. And I flatly don't know. Today I don't know if we're going to get enough in uh, to be on. But we're going to try, and we're darn sure going to, to try and put together another great program uh, it ha it's great because we're talking about the positive influences of guns in our society. I don't have to tell most of you how slanted the major media is about firearms. You know, th this thing that happened in Colorado when uh, these two boys went in that school and killed some of their uh, classmates. You know, that was an incident that was a tragic thing, but when you consider the millions of students in school, we have a very low incidence of school violence. And you know why they were free to go in that school with their bombs? As we understand it, they had a lot more bombs than they had guns. They only had two or three guns. But they had like 60 bombs made up, propane bombs. I mean, my goodness. Things that we hadn't even, you know, the legislators hadn't even considered legislating before. So you see, friends, you can make bombs, and a lot of you know how to do it. A lot of you from the military, uh, some of you had, had chemistry class, and a lot of you know you can make a bomb from household chemicals. So what they're going to start doing, they're going to start legislating all your cleaning uh, chemicals. They're going to start uh, have a Brady Bill waiting period on, on everything, on, on electricity. What in the world? Now, friends, we know what this is about. You know what? I was reading something the other day. And Joseph Stalin, the murdering leader, if you want to call it leader, how about dictator of the Soviet Union back in the 30s, 40s, and he, I think he died in the early 50s. He said that television was going to be the greatest propaganda tool ever. And you know what, friends? It has not been the greatest tool for getting the truth out because the people who control the major media, it has been the greatest propaganda tool. So Joseph Stalin was right. And what we see coming across the Communist News Agency, I'm sorry, CNN or Clinton News Agency, whatever, what we see from ABC, NBC, CBS, these major networks, is only part of the truth only part of the story. You know, Paul Harvey has a little deal he does called the rest of the story. Well, friends, we're not getting the rest of the story from major media. Now, that's why we're here today. And some of you have indicated that you care about what we're doing. We're trying to build a channel. We have this uplink equipment. It'll be an earth station so we can beam straight up to the satellite themselves and it can be received all over the country. And let me tell you what, if the people on this project have anything to do with it, and that's what it's about, you're going to be getting the truth. You're going to be getting the rest of the story. And that's what we're about today, friends. You know, talk of this terrible thing that happened in, in those children that were terrorized and killed in that, in that school. But you know, the news media and these nice anti-gun Congress people, the nice anti-gun anti-liberty, anti-American administration in Washington, they forget to tell you that 50,000 times the same week, guns were used lawfully to stop a crime, to stop an attack, mostly without being fired. 50,000 times in the hands, not the police, of the civilians. Now this is the news we have got to get to more people. I tell you what, friends, Leroy said a while back, Judge said something that I thought was so good. He said, quoting little boy, the, something went wrong with the clock and it struck uh, 13 or 14 times. And the little boy ran to his mother and said, Mama, Mama, it's later than it's ever been. 
Well, friends, here in the United States, it is, in fact, later than it's ever been. Now, Senator Smith brought up something on the, on the radio show last Sunday, for those of you who heard it. And he said that some information he had received last, just in the last few days, that the Chinese military has 200,000 troops in the canal zone in Panama. Panama is 900 miles from Texas. Think about it. 900 miles over land from the United States border. 200,000 Chinese and Clinton and that trash in Washington are trying to disarm us? What in the world? Why do we have... Is it going to take 200,000? We predicted last year or, or in the past few months they'd probably move a division in next year. According to the senator's information, 200,000 Chinese troops in Panama? What in the world? This is crazy. There's a reason we built that canal, friends. And it wasn't for the Chinese. Nothing to do, you know, there's some very fine Americans of Chinese extraction. Hey, friends, you're on our side. You don't have to worry about that. We're not talking about a racially motivated thing. We're talking about a foreign communist government, a foreign country whose aims and ideals are exactly opposite ours here in the United States. And we have people in Washington, and you know, so many of the American electorate, so many of the American population are going right along. Well, whatever they say must be nice. They send my check every month. No, that's not the rest of us. And something has got to be done. And I see it the way I see it. And we've been on television here. This is our ninth year on the air. We're going to have to make some, some advances on television because it's most people's principal pipeline for information. And we can do something. We can change it. We can affect it. You know, the truth is a powerful sword. A powerful instrument is the truth. We just have to get it to more people, friends. You want to help us? Will you please help us? We need your financial assistance. This is not a joke. If we're here today, if you're seeing us on television, let me tell you what. It's because of a loan I took out, or Leroy, or somebody helped put this thing on, but we didn't have the money to do it. And some of you out there have contributed. Will you please help us pay for airtime? Will you please help us? You can send whatever amount, if it's $5 or $50 or $500 or $5,000, whatever you can do, will you please help us stay on the air with the shooting show? Our address, the shooting show, 327 Irvin Roland Road in Dublin, Louisiana. The zip code is 71024. You know, where else on television, where else you going to hear about troops in Panama, Chinese government troops? Where else are you going to hear about it? Well, <clears throat> I don't know of anywhere else. I flatly don't know. I don't even know anywhere else on radio, hardly other than the American Freedom Network and a few of There are some, some pretty good uh, independent radio networks out there trying to do something. But you know what? If we can get a channel, if we can get programming, we'll have more things involving the truth, and especially truth by fire. Will you help us? Will you help us? We have a great show for you. This half hour goes quickly. Uh, some people say, well, heck, Don, you only do a half-hour show. It's not as much work. Yes, it is. It's more work doing a half-hour show because you've got to condense all this. So anyway, I don't have the luxury of taking the time that we've been able to in the past. So anyway, I have a Kimber Compact here I'm holding. And this is one of, because we've got several, we've got a couple of these guns we've actually made. This is not in 45 ACP, not in 380, not in 9 millimeter, not even in 357 SIG. It's in 460 Roland. And it is one of, because we've got a couple of others that we put together, the smallest, most powerful handguns in the world. Uh, absolutely. And this is, a, uh, with we have a new experimental compensator. And yes, we're in torture testing now. We've been shooting one of these, uh, literally trying to, to, to break it, see if it, we could break it. So far, we hadn't been able to, and we want to know before we make them for sale. A lot of people have called about uh, uh, how what our stage of development was on these guns. And let's start off today's program with this Kimber Compact in 460. Realize this is a, a four inch barrel. You've got a half inch of compensator. Uh, made, this is handmade, hand put together by Jim Clark Sr. himself. 
And I tell you, uh, it, it's most remarkable. We have our chronograph set up here. Watch the chronograph. Friends, you can see that's almost 1,500 feet per second from the compact gun with our 185 grain uh, nostril bullet. That's the hot rod. Let me tell you what, <clears throat> the defense load is an ideal because even the defense load in the little gun gives you 41 Magnum class power with much, much less recoil than we would, than we would uh, assume it would have. Well, that's, we've got some wallet, <laughs> volunteer water bottles. Let's have a little fun. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. Now friends, we've just started our station break. I've got a few seconds here to help. This program is about showing the proper uses, proper firearms handling to as many people as possible. We're in danger of going off here. Somehow we made it this week, and with your help, will you help us for next week? Will you please sit down, write a check, help the shooting show stay on there? I'm sorry we have to ask for donations. We don't have a choice. If we're going to have the truth, gun TV, truthful TV, we have to have your help to stay here. Will you please sit down and write a check to the shooting show, 327 Irvin Roland Road in Dublin, Louisiana. The zip code is 71024. Please, friends, please help us. This is not a joke. Please help us if you will, if you can. Friends, here it is. This is the great Georgia Arms 45 DA Colt or double action Colt cartridge. This is the first major improvement on the Colt 45 since 1873. Now, friends, of course, Georgia Arms has the great 45 Colt, but it also has, they also have 460 rolling in two different loadings, plus a whole host of other calibers, a handgun, and rifle ammunition out there the best prices on the best selection with the best accuracy and consistency of any ammunition company here in the United States. You know, Y2K is coming up. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Clinton may uh, try and ban guns or ammunition at any given time. So please call Georgia Arms, get a free catalog. And yes, they are shipping 460 rolling ammo daily. Please call them and get a free catalog. They're some of the nicest people in the industry, and look, they've helped for a long time to support this shooting show. Please tell them you saw it here on the program, 1-800-64-6861. Again, 1-800-64-6861. Friends, here's a little gun that I, we just shot at the opening of the program. And notice it will take, and we know it's empty, one more time. And no, we're not changing springs, we just have the kit. It'll also take the regular the compact guns will take the other magazines. Here's a 10 round magazine, which guess what? Yeah, it sticks out the bottom, but it works great. So anyway, uh, this is a Wilson 10 round one that we definitely recommend. We have, <clears throat> right now we have a blue and stainless that we're working on. And let me show you something. Look how much smaller this 44 Magnum power package is, smaller than this medium size 357 Magnum revolver. I mean, look at this dramatically smaller than even a 357, quite a bit smaller, say, than our, our full-size gun. We've discovered that on the shorter barrels, we don't need as much compensator. So, see, it's quite a bit of difference when compared to even the full-size gun. So, this is something that's exciting. We need to hear from you and uh, let us know how much interest you have in the compact Kimbers uh, certainly, we're working on an officer's model code. If we have a little footage, we'll show you that later. But this is exciting, and I need to hear from you on the interest on these small, super-powered guns. Now, friends, this is pretty amazing, and nobody knew, including us, that we could actually do this, but uh, it is exciting. One of these guns has gone through quite a bit of, of torture testing and is holding up. Uh, we can't tell where it's, where it's even being affected. We want to come with a drop-in kit but we're going to have to know. We, we knew uh, from the initial response on the full-size 460, we knew that was going to be successful. And by the way, hopefully 
uh, as we're taping, as you're seeing this tonight, we'll be doing a demo in the radio show tomorrow from uh, Johnstown, Colorado. The network was nice enough to uh, really help us and uh, pay our expenses, bring us up, and so we can do a demo, so we can meet a lot of people that watch our program and listen to our radio show out in the western United States. So we're really pleased about that, and uh, hopefully some of you will even be there, but here nor there. Uh, anyway, uh, we, we knew that the full-size model was going to be successful, and it certainly is coming along very, very nicely. Uh, and as I said earlier, Dan Wesson is supposed to uh, send us a compensated four-inch barrel, which may be uh, uh, the ultimate recoil reduced revolver, certainly for its power. Anyway, let's show you something briefly. And yes, we're so short on time. I want to, we've got a lot to cover today. Okay. We've got a couple of the full powered loads in the magazine and watch it in my hand. And to me, the full power load, which is equal to a 44 Magnum in power, uh, almost 1500 feet per second with a 185 grain bullet is real strong 44 Magnum 4 inch revolver performance. Of course, our full size model, you pick up another 50, 75 feet per second, but on the little gun now, it's pretty amazing. And to me, the recoil feels about like a 357 Magnum. So watch it in my hands here. It's got a little recoil, but nowhere near. And trust me, if you were in a defensive situation, you probably wouldn't feel it. Shoot another one. Okay, that's two of the full powered load running approaching 1500 feet per second. Now then, we have some defense loads in it, and this is the big news. Watch this. I mean, not enough recoil. To me, it kicks like a nine millimeter. Watch. I mean, you can rapid fire. Yes, we're empty now. Just amazing at the recoil it doesn't have and the power level it has. Now then, friends, I tell you what, like I said, we need to hear from you. If you're interested in, in these combinations, we need to know it because uh, Clark Custom Guns is going to have to uh, gear up to produce these uh, kits. And I know there are a lot of Kimber Compacts out there, so we need to hear from you and need to know. But it is one whale of a good combination. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. My friends watching our time here, here we are on another station break. You know, we know how useful handguns are. Think about it. All the women who have prevented rapes, all the people who have protected their property, all the people that have protected their lives because they had handguns. The anti-gun people want to take away our handguns. They want to take away everything we have that goes bang. They know they can never have their police state. We know they can never have their police state as long as we're armed. Friends, let's don't let them do it. We've got to stay on TV. We've got to make some headway. Will you please? We've got just a few seconds left in the, in the station, Blake. Will you please help the shooting show stay on the air? We're here today because of your donations. That's how we made it. If we don't get more donations, we will not be on next week. So please, friends, if you will, the shooting show, 327 Irvin Rolling Road in Dublin, Louisiana, zip code 71024. Friends, this week we're going to tango again with Melba and Parnell Odom, world famous dance instructor. Let's we'll see what they have for us. Welcome once again to Dance Unlimited. In this video, we will teach you the tango. You will learn the closed basic, the outside position basic, the promenade basic. The promenade basic to back tango close, the Argentine walk, the closed promenade, the open promenade, the forward rocks, turning rocks, rock changes, simple corte, the rock with corte, rock with fan, open promenade to fan, promenade walk around, and promenade pivot. people associate the tango with the rose. But there's a whole lot more to it than that. We're going to get rid of the rose and learn some basics of tango. 
Now, friends, for this tremendous video, you can call TV Productions, area 318-869-0439, or write to them at 106 East Kings Highway, Suite 216, Shreveport, Louisiana, the zip code is 71104, only $29.95. You don't have to be a wallflower any longer. These tapes can get you out of it, so give them a call today and thank them for supporting our program. Now, friends, we're going back to our Fun Gun Weekend. This is Lane Foshi, in fact, uh, demonstrating some fast draw. I think you're going to enjoy this. Just to demonstrate the, the gun, I will, I will stand the gun. Just yeah, I'm going to shoot it and show you what it's like. That's pretty good. If I can stay under 410, 400 should be all right. Now friends, what we're looking at here is a shotgun that is not too terribly common. This is a presentation grade Ithaca model 37. And there are a number of interesting things about the Ithaca and I think they're back in business. Uh, they have been in and out a few times, but they have always made a very nice conceptual uh, shotgun or, or certainly uh, the way their guns work has always been uh, interesting. They've been good, reliable, solid guns for many years. And like I said, I think they're back in production now. I saw a booth at the SHOT Show saying Ithaca, Ithaca Gun. I did not get a chance to talk to them. Let's take a closer look. My friends, looking at the Ithaca, you'll notice that there is no ejection port on either side. And no, I don't think this would be a great gun to go bird hunting with because birds would see this light. Looks like a nickel or chrome plated gun, apparently. This was a presentation gun. Someone has actually loaned us this gun to do the program. It has a gold colored trigger. Uh, the upper part, the, uh, the barrel lug here is, uh, is gold colored, some gold touches there. And a very nice scene, a scene of, of a dog and, and some pheasants. But what really sets these guns apart is it has a bottom ejection port, whereas the shell goes in the bottom and the way it works, Let's see if we can show you this. See if I can do this. Load a couple in place, in fact. And here is the uh, bolt release right here. We'll go ahead and load one and watch. Shell comes out of the magazine. And let's go ahead and shoot it. Bird shot here. Safety off. Okay, now watch. We've got one here in the magazine. It's unlocked, of course. It brings the shell out of the barrel and now then it picks another one up out of the magazine and it has reloaded itself uh, so in fact in fact we'll see if we can look at the Mossberg and compare it let's go ahead and unload this particular one very positive ejection now then what we would expect on most guns that we're familiar with the such as the Mossberg here we know this gun's unloaded you'll have a a shell in the magazine let's go ahead and load it and shoot it. Okay, and watch. It throws the hull out the top of the ejection port here on the side, picks up another one from the bottom. Whereas the Ithaca does it all through one hole. Certainly a system that they made work for a long time. The advantage here is if you're uh, left handed, the ejection port's going to throw the hulls back toward your face. Whereas someone who is left-handed or right-handed can shoot the if case but well because the ejection comes out the bottom. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. Friends on our station break, this is my last chance I'll have to talk to you on the program about this today, I would imagine. Anyway, this is our 460 Roland 1911 conversion. It's the most versatile cartridge that's ever been invented. I mean, it is, and we didn't, we didn't plan on it. It just turned out that way. But you know what? As great and as powerful as the 460 is in all these combinations of guns, it's not going to matter if we lose our gun rights. Nothing's going to matter to us as shooters if we lose our gun rights. No more paper punching, no more uh, water bottle bursting, no more bowling pins. No, all that's going to be over with unless we do something about it. We can do something about it by remaining on television. Will you please help us? Please help us get on again next week and the week following. Will you please sit down and write a check 
for the shooting show, 327 Irvin Roland Road in Dublin, Louisiana. The zip code is 71024. You know, we're talking about handgun sports. What about those people who protected their lives with handguns? We don't want to lose it, friends. Please help us. And we want to mention the good folks at Clark Custom Guns in Princeton, Louisiana, one of the most complete gun shops in the entire United States. They do all sorts of things like this specialty meltdown on this new STI gun. Also, uh, they have an excellent staff of people to help you with guns such as these Benelli Super Black Eagles taking three and a half inch uh, magnums. A complete line of handguns, semi-automatics, revolvers, all sorts of neat things in the shop there. And, of course, here's Mr. Jim Clark himself out helping a customer, some of the nicest people you'd ever want to meet. They have a complete line of loading supplies, loading tools, gunpowder, you name it, primers, uh, all sorts of accessories for your guns, uh, whatever you might need, certainly within reason. Here's Kay Clark Michalik when she's not winning championships, back working there in the office. And here's her husband, Jerry Michalik, the fastest revolver shooter in the world when he's not winning championships at work. Here's Jim Clark Jr. back on the lathe, the same drill when he's not winning championships, working right there in the shop. That's why you can get such complete quality quality of product and expertise here at Clark Custom Guns. Friends, give them a call today, area 318-949-9884. They have a great catalog. We appreciate them supporting our project. Well, friends, these Ithaca guns uh, were very nicely made, and a lot of the gun companies have been in financial trouble over these years. I'm sure you're aware of that. We've said before, the gun makers are small companies. Uh, typically, even people like Smith & Wesson, people like, like Remington and Winchester, when compared to uh, a computer company or to a, uh, even a can opener company, they're very small companies, Ruger or anybody else. So they just don't have the resources. And, you know, <clears throat> they're one of the few industries that there is a group of people out there trying to put them out of business. I saw where Davis Industries uh, the other day uh, because uh, they're mentioning this lawsuit that some of these cities are trying to sue. Davis Industries, just, they just uh, declared Chapter 11. Hey, fine, let all gun companies declare Chapter 11, continue doing business. And I tell you what, maybe it'll, it'll uh, do something toward averting these ridiculous lawsuits. Go ahead and load several here. I don't know how many. I don't know if the gun has a plug in or not. We just got it uh, for testing here. We've got four in there. And watching my hands as far as recoil goes, these are very lightweight guns. They really uh, have a, a, a concept here that is worthwhile. If you're bird hunting all day, and no, I wouldn't recommend chrome plating. Uh, if you're bird hunting, they're lighter to carry. There's just not as much weight. They're very handy. They, they swing well. They really uh, uh, are a, a super package. Let's go ahead and load it. And watch, let's watch the recoil. It's got some. But, again, it's a lightweight gun. Watch that hole ejected from the bottom. There we go. And I believe that's all. Friends, we'll have to come back to the Ithaca on another, on another day. We're out of time. We need to go to our support group. And we want to mention our good friend and patriotic American, Dennis Crocker, a firearms trainer in South Carolina. Dennis is also handling Kramer holsters now. You can give him a call at area 864 Five eight seven eight seven two two. We also have custom leather work and saddlery in Denham Springs, Louisiana. They do all kinds of leather work. Their number is area 225-667-9225. Also, we have Camouflage Technologies. They paint gun stocks, a variety of gun stocks, a variety of patterns. Give them a call today, area 909-674-6488. And Flying Horse Galleries, a great artwork on the web. You can find them at www.flyinghorse.net. And our friend Bruce Warren with B.C. Armory in East Leroy, Michigan. Bruce works on pistols and revolvers. His number is area 616-729-5508. And also Cottrell Refrigeration, Heating, and Cooling in Tuscumbia, Alabama. His number is area 256-381-1887. Friends, we're almost out of time. The Gospel Show will be coming up immediately. Don't miss our radio show tomorrow on the American Freedom Network. We'll do it live from Colorado. We'll see you on the next program.